Hey Masters, welcome back to Join Media. Today we're going to talk about the Cypress testing library, what it is, how it works, and how to implement it in your project. All right, Masters, I just want to let you know that this is a project that it is published in this GitHub repository, Cypress testing library demo. It is totally free. You can find it in the description of this video. Probably I'll try to post it there. All right. Um, in the repo, I created this uh, demo that side that JS file where I have some notes and also the demo. So if you want to take a look, clone it and try it out, you are free to do it. What is Cypress Testing Library? It is an extension of the popular end-to-end -end testing framework Cypress. It is an external dependency. I'll let you know how to integrate it in your project in a few seconds, okay? It is going to provide us a set of utilities for writing tests that focus on the user interactions and behaviors rather than the implementation details of the web application, okay? Um, this library is going to provide us with user-centric queries that allow you to select elements based on their accessibility roles, text content and labels, and etc. Okay, let's take a look of why it should be implemented as well. The first thing is improved readability. Tests are going to be more readable and closer to how users interact with the application. Then we have accessibility focus, since we're going to be using the queries like get by role or get by label text, well, it's gonna um, make our tests more accessible. Also, we're gonna encourage the development of accessible web applications at the same time, right? Um, we're gonna have like less flaky tests. Um, our tests, our selectors are gonna be um, like independent on the implementation details since we're gonna use um well the accessibility attributes of them right okay then we have seamless integration we can use uh, the classical SciGet and our site that find role at the same time and we're not gonna have like any kind of issue over there and also we have community and support and um, i think um the community is constantly making questions in the repository and they try to address them uh, proactively all right so um i hope that this is like a good introduction for this library and i'll continue with the demo okay masters uh, how you can implement this in your framework it's pretty simple here is the steps to install it from scratch the first thing that you have to do is install the testing library as a dev dependency if you want to right so you just have to write down npm install right save dev i'll i'll do it that with you just to make sure that everything is clear okay and i'm gonna clear this console here and it is in npm install save dev and if you don't have cypress you have to install it as well but well you can also install separately only the package testing library okay there it is it is gonna install all the stuff that you need to install all right then the second step is to go to the cypress support commands.js or ts so go to support commands.js and make sure that you import this a uh, well testing library add commands over here in case you're using typescript you're gonna need to do an extra step and it is go to the tsconflict.json and add the types over here in the array okay that's great masters i also wanted to tell you that i'll be assisting to the pycon 2024 in colombia in case you are from that country and you want to well, come by and say hi. I'll appreciate it. I'll be speaking there about Playwright, actually. As you can see, it is going to be a, a, a small talk about Playwright and Python. It is going to be in Spanish, but, well, I hope that you can get, if you if you speak Spanish, you can get something from, from that talk. See you there in case you're in Colombia. All right. All right, masters. Let me explain to you how you can find the accessibility attribute of an element, because that's important and that's something that you need to do. Let's just start with this button here or this link, actually. All right. I'm going to inspect this one. And you can see that this is the A tag that is referencing the community um, from the menu. It is not displayed here because the viewport changed it. But here it is. You can see it. This is the community. A link okay this is the element that we want to look for as you can see it has its proper id also it has its proper data ci that's awesome you can find it by by that attribute but those are implementation details right let's imagine that you want to use the 
accessibility attributes and find it by the role. Okay, you can also check that it has a, um, well, well, that's that's all the details that you need to know, I think, okay? How you can find accessibility attributes? Well, uh, under this DOM, you can see that we can look for styles, computed, layout, even listeners, DOM breakpoints, properties, and then we have an accessibility tab here. Okay, so I'm gonna expand it for you so you can see what is going on. Uh, you can see that this, um, well, community element, okay, has the role link, okay? And it also has the name community. So you can use these attributes to find the element using the Cypress testing library. How you can do it? Let me open Visual Studio code for you. So as you can see, I have a knit over here is gonna be representing the link role. Mm -hmm. And you can see that I'll be using the command side that find by role, okay? The first parameter is gonna be the name of the role, in this case is link. Why? Because the role of this element is link, all right? And then after the comma, you're gonna use an object. And inside of the object, you're gonna use the property name. Then you can use a regex inside of this and look for the string that you want to look for. In this case, it's community because the name of this element is community. All right, and that's it. Uh, now you have mapped the element using the role. Then you have to, if you want to, you can click on it and make sure that the redirect action is working fine. All right, let's do it. Let's see how it works in Cypress. I'm gonna click on demo. And you can see that it is gonna visit Cypress and it's gonna look for the element in the DOM using the role, and then it's gonna click on it. And then the block website is gonna be displayed because that's what happened when you click on community. Let me show you that, because I didn't show you that. There it is, it's opening the block website, okay? And as you can see, it is finding the community link by the role and, and also using its name. And that's awesome, right? So. I hope that you enjoyed this part of the demo. Let's continue with the next one. Let's talk about a button. Now I want to click on this button, npm install Cypress, all right? So I'm gonna do the same stuff. I'm gonna look for the element in the DOM, okay? I'm gonna make sure that I'm selecting the, like, the, the one that I want to. This is the button. You can see that it has classes and the type button and so on. And I'll be taking advantage of the accessibility attributes here, okay? You can see that the role here is a button and it has its proper name, npm install Cypress. That's awesome. So I'll be using the same strategy. I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code. You can see that my second E is button row. So you can clone it and try it by yourself as well. And you can do the same stuff. Site, find by row, button. And here you have the name, install Cypress. You can see that I am not using npm just to show you that this is working with regex as expected, okay? And then I'm gonna click on it. Okay, if I click on this, it's gonna open a second model, I think. Let me show you that. This is the model. And the I also wanted to show you that you can mix the find by role command, for instance, with a simple scikit, as usually, <laughs> right? So let me show you this. I'm gonna look this element in the DOM, just to make sure what is exactly the element. Let me see, doo -doo -doo. here it is, doo -doo -doo. okay. And the element that I'm looking for is this particular installing Cypress header. It has the ID Sci model label, and I'm using SciGet to find it by ID, okay? And it should have text installing Cypress as expected. And if I run this test, I'm gonna show you that this should be working fine. I hope so. <laughs> because in live demos, we have all these problems, but let's try it. There it is. So uh, the first thing is it is looking for the role in the button, install Cypress, then it is gonna click on it, and then we have the model. Let me show you it again, the, the execution. There it is. It is opening the model, and here we have the title installing Cypress. That's awesome, guys. Let's continue with the next part of the demo that it is using placeholder text and other options that you may want to use in your tests. I'm gonna open again the Cypress website and I'll be clicking on the community tab or option in the menu, the link to be specific, right? Like the role, okay? And I'll be looking for this element in the DOM, which is an input. Let me show you that. This is an input and it has the placeholder search the block. 
Okay, well, the Cypress testing library has a, a good method as well for that um, placeholder attribute in case you want to use it. Okay, so the command is find by placeholder text. You can use the, a simple string here to map the placeholder that you want to use, and then you can type in that. Just a simple selector, another option that you have, and it should work fine. Let me show you that. So I'm gonna be city, I'm gonna be visiting the block website, okay? And then it's gonna look the let me show you it again. <laughs> I'm gonna execute it again just for, for, for you to see what is going on. And it is looking for the input by the placeholder, and then it is typing testing. And that's awesome. It is working. If I open it uh, again the Visual Studio code, guys, you can see other options that you may want to use. The first one is sci find by label text. Okay, this is method is going to query elements associated with a label, such as foreign inputs. Okay, so that's another uh, option that you have uh, available. Then you can find by semantic attributes like the old text for a picture or an image, right? And also sci find by title. And I think I have covered like the most part of the library. Um, there are more of that, but I will recommend you to go ahead and check the official documentation. It is going to be located here in the Cypress testing library website. And you can see examples. You can see more information uh, in this website. I'll try to leave it in the description of the video as well. Or you just have to look for a Cypress testing library in Google or chat GTP and it's going to be there as well. All right. So masters, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for well, watching this video until this point. I hope that you enjoy it. And let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? If this is a good approach, it is, if it is not a good one for you or your project, I want to hear from you in, in the comments and I'll try to read them all and try to discuss with you, uh, your comment. All right. So thank you masters and see you in the next one. Please subscribe as well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.